recipe as the other four or five times I tried to get the recipe. I've got a few <laughs> ingredients, but he wouldn't give me. He said it's all about like the measurements and how much you put in. No luck. Getting exercising recipe. those journalistic skills <laughs> in a good way. And the <laughs> staff like, clearly appreciated it yes. for sure. And that the sauce just my mouth mm. is watering. Seventy years that restaurant was open. So if you want to have the recipes. It, they are now being served up at Wagner's in Lockport okay. by his son Dominic. So looks fantastic. You're in luck. Looks fantastic. Yes. Plate of spaghetti sounds good right now. It does. Yes. And a good weekend maybe to stay inside and, and make some sauce. It makes them certainly for tonight. What weekend's not going to be a complete loss? That's good. But it's a little something for everyone really in this forecast. And we certainly had a lot of rain today. Three quarters of an inch, actually 77 one hundredths of an inch. You know, and I was doing a little bit of research, and I can tell you this: this is among the top 15 wettest starts to April in Buffalo going back to the 1800s. So uh, if you think we've had a lot of April showers as of late, you are indeed correct. So for tonight, not only do we have the wetness, but we have the wind and we have the wintriness as well in spots overnight into early Saturday. As we go into Saturday, we're dealing with some of those gusty winds still, some showers in the morning and some of those flakes on our hilltops. Sunday, there will be some dry time. There will be some dry time too on Saturday, but don't be shocked if there's a passing thunderstorm, especially early Sunday morning. In the meantime, for tonight, what you see is what you get. We've got the wind, we've got the clouds, we've got those windswept showers, temperatures kind of stuck in the low 40s. And we've got Puddle Ducky here and the flakes because we've got not just the rain, but again, the wet snow in the highest terrain south of Buffalo overnight into early tomorrow. And again, like I said, there will be dry time tomorrow afternoon. The precipitation chances really dwindle right now. Not dwindling are those winds gusting as high as 44 miles per hour at Dunkirk right now. Here are our projected wind gusts for Buffalo into Saturday. Again, we're looking at uh, uh, marginal gusts on the order of 35 to 40 miles per hour. And yes, that is snow. You know, T.S. Eliot said, April is the cruelest month. He must, T.S. Eliot must have been talking about the weather in western New York because we've got a few inches of snow on our hilltops all the way through Ellicottville into uh, the morning. Weather alerts here, wind advisories again through 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Winter weather advisories, Southern Erie County, Chautauqua County, Allegheny, Cattaraugus, Wyoming, and again, any accumulation would be basically confined to our hilltops. And there's also a flood warning for the Allegheny at Olean. Minor flooding at that because of this wet start to April. 45 right now, gusty southwesterly breezes, low pressure pinwheeling like a big old top here. And those showers are coming in off the lake. Wind swept, and you can see that here on Super Doppler, some of the rain, especially into southern Erie County. Uh, the rain should start to diminish as we head into uh, tomorrow morning. And again, we will find uh, temperatures dropping into the mid 30s tonight. The potential for a few inches in the hills of some of that snow into the morning. Tomorrow, breezy, cooler showers, top temp 48. Milder air is waiting in the wings for next week. Look at that. By Wednesday, we're back to near 70 degrees. April doing April things. You're watching 7 News at 6. Stay with us.